My name is Stephen Stewart. I'm the inventor of the Beehive Solar Heater. It's a project that I have been working on since I was in high school with my grandfather, who was a commercial beekeeper. Before pesticides, before mites, winter still would kill 20% of the bees. But with pesticides and mites, the bees are even weaker now. You can lose 40, 50, 70 percent of your bees in the winter. This problem of winter kill for bees never left my mind. I promised myself when I retired I would fix this problem. Wow, those bees could be in the Bahamas. Good looking bees. Steve has tested 25 of these heaters the last two years and then currently we are testing our most recent prototype on 30 hives. Steve's first year he had a loss rate of about 5%, which is phenomenal. Last year, we had the worst winter that Utah has seen in 30 years. There was a ton of snow, not tons of sun, and it stayed cold consistently. Our worry was, oh, if there's not that much sun, if it's gonna stay snowy, are we gonna be able to get the results out of the heater that we had hoped for? To our surprise, it performed fantastically well. We did experience closer to a 15, 20% loss rate last winter. However, the average in the state of Utah was closer to 50 to 60% of loss. This is all it takes to save a beehive through the winter. If you can get two days of sunshine a month, is all it requires, that beehive's going to live. If they have a queen and if they're healthy, the winter will not kill them. I would heat the top box and not the bottom with a solar heater. And to do that, I would separate them, put the solar heater on the side with a gap, which would allow air to come in and make the top box warm. The bees wouldn't come out and die if they got hot because when they'd go to the entrance, they'd go through that cold box and that would stop them from dying. Something pretty common I see uh, with bees over the winter is you start pulling out frames and they're just plastered with mold. And that comes from a lot of the moisture inside the hives. When you have mold growing in your frames, and again, it's very common when you have a wet hive, it's really sad because the bees put in a lot of energy to draw out the wax from their frame. So you can have a frame that produces you lots of honey year after year after year. Once it has that mold, you gotta chuck it. So with the hive heater, it dries out the hive and you're, you're not gonna have that mold problem. Every year I lose about two to three frames from mold. Um, and it's just because of all that moisture. It just, it blooms in there. A lot of people lose their hives because of moisture and because of the cold. I talk to people, they, they pull their hive off and they've got like two, three inches of dead bees in the bottom. And it's because uh, there's no ventilation, right? Like they, they get too cold um, up there in the hive like that from the moisture and they just start dropping like flies. So I really think it's a great product. I'm excited to try it on my commercial operation. I think it could scale and I think it's fantastic for backyard beekeepers. And you don't have to modify your beehives. You can use any kind of beehives that you've got. It's so easy to install. This is all that's required. You take the top box off, if that were a full deep, you set that on, put your box back, and you're set. Your bees will have all the ventilation they've never gotten before and can never get any other way.